Him and his brother started arguing, and I told him to quit it. They're not even knives. One of them's like a, a little mini sword. Okay, don't tap me, don't I step your right. I step your right. And because of the victim's age, that's also elder abuse. Ma'am, is this your purse? The car that you were driving, the owner reported it stolen. Crawl towards me, you get a big bag. Well, it looks like the uh, ignition panel is totally removed. Do the, do the pursuit move. OK. Yeah, I'll take it. Step out of the car. You see your hands. Get down on the ground. Get down on your stomach. Put your hands behind your back. Do not make any move towards that car. Keep your hands up. On your hands and knees, move out to the street. My knees too, man, with the gun. Oh, my. You walk forward, Stop. Got crossfire now. Spit on me. Was that spit in my face? Where's the best? He's right in the ground. I tell you the dead is, and I'm not in the rest. No. Come on. What do you want me to do? Do you want me to stay in the jail? No, no. I, 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 wasn't, I wasn't here. Right now, my partner and I are headed to a uh, domestic. Apparently, this was between brothers. One of the brothers didn't want to leave. So now, all we know is that there's knives involved, and somebody was going back inside the house to grab a gun. Put your hands back here for me, just for a second, OK? okay. I'm just gonna pat you down. Make sure you don't have any knives, guns, weapons, anything no, like that. I'm cool. <laughs> okay. Where's the gun at, sir? Hang out there for me. Oh, sorry. So what's going on? When he comes at me with two knives like that, I got my gun, okay? Okay. And you're the father? I'm the father. Him and his brother started arguing, and I told him to quit it. Okay. He got mad and cussed at me and told me I was no good, and he went in his room, and I told him to go in there and told him to shut up and leave the situation alone, he pulled the first little knife right there. I told him, I ain't going to put up with you. Okay. I went and got my gun and told him, no, you ain't going to do this to me no more. OK. I thought he lived next door. He's lived here as long as I have. Now, you're the brother? Yeah. That's what happened. I guess Stephen got a letter from his soon-to-be ex-wife because she took his kid. And uh, I read the letter. He's like, did you see the letter? And I was like, yeah, I was over here earlier. I read the letter. And I said, he goes, well, I'm mad about it. And I said, dude, I think it's kind of funny. You know? I mean, in the position that you're in, I said, look at the humor side of it. And, and then he flipped out. And he's like, don't laugh at my pain. And, and I was like, dude, I'm not laughing at your pain. What the hell are you talking about? And he flipped out. And, started calling me all kinds of names, told me to get the out of the house. And I was like, this is mom and dad's house. He called the cops on me, telling them that I wasn't going to leave, which I'm going to leave because I got better things to do and argue with a 42-year-old adolescent. And then uh, he comes outside with that knife and whatever else he had in his hand. And I'm thinking, you are not coming at me with that because I would have got out regardless. And then my dad come out, and my dad's gun was at his side, and he goes, if you ever point a knife at me, and so Stephen turned around, and raised him up and started to go at him, my dad was like, do it. Do it. Did he make any, what did he say while he was coming at your dad with the weapons in his hand? Uh, shoot me, shoot me. So your, your dad obviously felt that his oh, life was in jeopardy. Yeah. This hasn't been the first time that Steven's come at my dad with weapons. Okay. The two knives, actually, they're not even knives. One of them's like a, a little mini sword. I'm just glad nobody's hurt. All I was asking for was a little compassion. You couldn't even give it to me. I'm, dude, I'm trying. I tried then, OK? <laughs> I'm trying to give it now. All right, bud. Thanks. Sorry. They won't let me talk to you. Breaths, okay? It's about to be betrayed by everybody I've ever known, <laughs> OK? I'm the felon, so I have to automatically go. I understand right. that no, OK? Don't tell me no don't tell me no because you're lying to me, all right? Don't get spun up. Don't get spun up. The, re the reason why you're going to hell, bud. Because I have a record. I have no. a no. I didn't even know you from Adam when I showed up here. I've never even met you before. The reason that you're going to jail, though, is because your dad and your brother both said that you picked up those knives and you started walking towards dad, saying, go ahead and shoot me. Go ahead and shoot me. He had the gun, OK? What is a 
knife gonna do against the gun? Why were you walking after your dad saying, go ahead and shoot me? Because he was threatening me, and I wanted to show him I am not afraid. Okay. Yes, I have okay. the knife, but they weren't up in a defensive or attacking posture. Okay. They were down. And the reason why you did that is because you wanted to show dad that you were not afraid of him. Is that right? Pretty much, yeah. Okay. But he knows I'm afraid of him. I'm done with all this. This is the last time you'll see me alive. Honey. I am done. You were the one who called the cops, not me. No, Alan did. No, no. Alan called him out here when Dad had the gun stick in my face. Yeah, I, I'm, the, I'm the one that gets to go to jail. I love you, honey. Steve was walking right towards him with the knives, so Dad exercised some good self-control, I think. Do you have anything on you on this as well? Is that your boyfriend with you? That's my fiance. Your girl's saying that you did it, so. I didn't snatch nobody's purse. We're out to back of one of our units who has a 211 suspect, basically an armed robbery suspect from this morning. That's him right there. Keep your hands up in the air. Walk backwards. I'm sending them to you. Stop. Go to your right. Right step to your right. Right step to your right. Keep walking forward. Keep going. I got cuffs, Sergeant. Keep going. Stop. Start walking backwards tomorrow, my boys. Keep walking backwards. Stop. Put your hands on top of your head. And lace your fingers. Spread your feet. Do you have anything on you on this as well? No. How much money do you have on you right now? It should be uh, close to 200. Close to 200? Yes. OK. Get in the car. Yeah. All right, Cynthia, we already know that you were involved earlier today. All right, we, we got the witness in, on their way here to do an infield lineup. All right? So right now, right now, you can tell us, say what happened. Let us know beforehand. You know, I don't know if you were just. Involved in what? You know what? Don't play stupid right now. I don't know what. You ain't told me what. You just saying you know I was involved in what? Okay, so you weren't involved in any theft earlier today? No. You don't want to talk about your? Uh, is that your boyfriend with you? That's my fiance. That's your fiance. You don't know if he was involved in anything earlier today? We was together today. All right, stick to that story. How old are you, Tyro? I'm 19. 19. Why she saying you took the money? I didn't take no money. I don't even know what y'all was talking about. She told us that we didn't stop immediately at the stop sign, which I was trying to see across both ways of the streets before okay. I exit up. I mean, we're not talking about the uh, stop sign violation anymore. We're talking about a robbery that happened earlier, a purse snatching. I, I don't know nothing about no robbery, sir. Well, right now, your girl's saying that you did it, so right now's your time to talk. I didn't snatch nobody's purse. I don't have nothing else to say. OK. All right, you can go to jail for it. Have a nice day. Male driver doesn't have a driver's license anyway, so we're going to tow it for 30 days. And then we'll just collect the evidence that way. All right, then we'll go back to the station. We'll get the eyewitness and uh, see the still pictures and everything, see if we can get him ID. He wants to talk to me, so I'm going to take him back to my office and see what he has to say. OK. And we'll go from there. Cool. All right, I'll let All you guys right. know what happened. He looked like he wanted to say something, but he didn't yeah, want to say something in front of her. He wants to talk. Right now we're waiting for the victim to come in and hopefully they can positively ID the still pictures and the photo lineups that we have. Right over here, ma'am. Take your time. Remember, ma'am, these, these may or may not be the suspects here. Anything familiar in the pictures, just go ahead and point it out. Either one, two, three, four, five, or six. Like two. Number two? Yeah. And number two? You said number yeah. two? All right. So. Um, we're gonna go try to recover your purse so we can get that back to you. Okay. Okay. For that money, sir. Right now, uh, uh, Detective Jones is interviewing the suspect uh, who did this purse that snatching earlier. I lost a total of twenty dollars. The person who got their purse snatched, I witnessed them picking up my twenty dollars. Well, now, before I got a chance to get to her to tell her that that was my twenty dollars that she picked up, she had drove off. Okay. So I proceeded in following her, and when she stopped, I got out the car. Uh, told the lady basically that you picked up my money, she proceeded and keep on going. Okay. And that's when I took the purse. All right. I regret taking the purse, but it's hard for me to come, come uh, money to come by me, being that I can't find a job. It's not like I ain't looking. And I was telling our detective that he bought some clothes and he was going to give his girlfriend some money for the rent, so. Yeah, he's also saying that the female subject that we got is uh, also the driver of the vehicle when this all happened. I'm booking her as an accessory to robbery, okay? Because that's what you did, you robbed her. And because of the amount of money that was in the purse, it's also grand theft. 
Because the two of you were together and she drove you away from the scene of a crime, you guys went together. That's also conspiracy. And because of the victim's age, that's also elder abuse. That's four felonies right there. Ma'am, is this your purse? Mm -hmm. One of our officers located it. Strange hanging all off of it. Yeah. yeah. One of our officers located it exactly where the guy, the suspect, told us it was. Mm -hmm. We got the okay. suspects in custody, and mm -hmm. they're going to go to jail for it. I didn't hit him, man, nobody. She just said she was driving. What she says and what reality is could be two different things. We're going to figure that out, right? This is like the worst thing in the world, man. We got dispatched to assist on a hit and run where someone apparently followed the vehicle over in our district and uh, watched the suspects get out. So we're covering another officer. Copy, 1854. Any weapons on you, dude? Buddy? I need your search. You okay. Do me a favor and just take a seat right there. So what's going on? I don't know. You don't know at all? Mm -mm. Where are you guys coming from? I was coming from the park. It's your husband or boyfriend or husband? No, we're not married. Boyfriend? Yeah. He's in your pocket. Fort Dodge and traffic. Yeah. Four door. Yes, you. Yeah. Keep down at all. Uh, McAllister did, evidently. What does this belong to? Where's your car keys? Where, where's your car at? Over uh, there. Who was driving? She was. And six six. So you having is somebody having an argument with you? you? Guys in the car? Is that what happened? Well we were getting followed by somebody. Do you know who they were? Yeah. Are they trying to hurt you? Well, him. You wanna tell me the story? What happened? Okay. Follow us if you wanted to get this guy. And she or he? It was a she. Like an ex-girlfriend or something? No, it was okay. my sister. Okay. Um, they don't really like him. So they were just trying to get me away from him, I guess. Is, but she just kept following us. So why does he have the keys? Well, I have a set, too. That's his set. Why'd you leave? I didn't know what to do. I talked to the witness that saw it and followed them. and. Uh, we did the show up, and he said 100% absolutely. That's the two of them. Who's driving? Uh, the male was. OK. And he's sure, 100% sure on that, 100% sure on that. She's actually saying she was driving. He's letting her lie. OK, stand up. Put your hands behind your back. What were you two Clark coming. Stand up. Put your hands behind your back. What's going on? We're under arrest. For what? Hit and run. I didn't hit and run nobody. Huh? I didn't hit nobody. Oh, yeah, that's what you're arrested for, and that's what you're arrested for. I wasn't driving, though. We, we brought two people here, and they, they have a different story. They say you were driving. I was Did driving. Did you switch seats, maybe, before I was not you hit driving. the car? I was not driving. Okay. Well, I mean, that's what you're arrested for. You asked me. I'm going to be honest. What the <laughs> Man, I just got out of jail. For what? Do you know when I might get out of jail? Brother. For a PV. No, so I'm going to arrest it for a hit and run? Yeah. Isn't that a felony? I didn't do nothing. I've never even been to jail before. Like, I'm freaking out. That's the thing about it. I didn't do nothing. You were in a car that crashed into another car? I didn't hit, I didn't hit the and person. You, when I first talked to you, you lied to me. So we're but trying to figure out. You're, you're being detained right now? Let's see if we can figure out what's going on. How's that? OK. But he just told me I was going to arrest him. Well, we got witnesses that say you were driving. OK. She just said she, yo, she was driving. So what she says and what reality is could be two different things. We're going to figure that out, right? This is like the worst thing in the world, man. Okay. I don't know what but to do. You, you know I'm asking all these questions because I already know the answer. We have a lot of witnesses. And what I got from the witnesses also that you guys almost hit a pedestrian. As she was crossing the street. Five is that five. you guys were fighting prior to hitting the car. Me and him? Yeah. We weren't, we haven't. Well, that's what uh, the witnesses are telling me. Okay, okay, well, I'm letting you know that that part isn't true, and I don't okay. know about the pedestrian. I didn't see nobody in the street. Okay. So you weren't driving the car? I just don't want to. Okay, know. you don't want to tell me? That's fine, okay? Um, but you're under arrest also for hindering prosecution, okay? I don't know what that is. Well, because you're covering up a felony. What happened is you're 
that uh, your boyfriend or whatever, um, he was driving the car. He hit the other van. There was a guy that was on the side of the van, and the car hit him. He's got injuries to his legs. And you're trying to cover up for that, saying that you were the driver. So that makes that a felony. Okay, so that's what you're under arrest for. Everyone put their hands up. And there's probably about a dozen keys in there, maybe. You were driving and you were in possession of a stolen vehicle. Is that a surprise? Nine six five, check a plate. Possibly a rolling. It's stopping. Yeah, Toyota Camry, ten fifty seven. It's a stolen. Can't put your hands up. Everyone put their hands up. I got occupied times two compliant so far. Exit the vehicle, keep your hands up. Put your hands as high as you can, sidestep to your left very slowly. Hey, go down on your belly, keep your hands out away from your body. Look to your right. We believe that you're armed. If you make a move for a gun, we're gonna shoot you. It's a Toyota, but we have three, looks like Honda keys that uh, have all been shaved down and used, uh, probably used uh, to steal cars. And now we have an Acura key right here, uh, two Acura keys and uh, some more jiggle keys. It's confirmed by Ben, and it's not on the hot sheet because it was taken less than an hour ago at a grocery. Okay, well, let's see what she has to say. Hi, ma'am. How long have you known him for? Uh, I don't know, maybe six months, maybe a little less. I don't know. Something About like that. six months, six though? Months, give or take, I think. What's his name? Um, Uno, they call him Uno. They call him Uno? Yeah. Has he always owned that car? No, I believe he just, uh, I don't know if he just purchased it or if he's borrowing it, I'm not sure. You're not sure he didn't say anything about the car? No. Didn't say anything about uh, where he was coming from or? Mm -mm. Okay, did you see him driving it with the keys or anything like that? Yeah, he had a key. He had a key? Yeah. Okay. Are any of your keys in the car? Or any of your possessions in the car? No, my purse is outside. Your and purse I is have outside. A couple of things that are my brother's in there that I was going to take to him. What are those things? Uh, the screwdriver, a little pouch of glasses, which is my pouch, and I believe uh, wire cutters. I don't know. Um, okay. What What's in the pouches? Uh, the pouch. I think I believe the keys. If it, you know, it's totally okay. You're the passenger. If you knew that it was stolen, or he said that he stole it, or something. It's okay to it's okay to tell he me. He didn't say anything. Like yeah. I said, I wasn't I was barely in the car. Do you know much about stolen vehicles? My brother was in there for that, and he just got out. So I figure the keys and stuff that it, he wants from me are probably for that. But like I said, for your brother or, for, or him? Oh, my brother. Okay. My brother. What's Mike. your brother's name? Mike. Mike. Yeah. And uh. He just got out, I believe. And he was in jail for stolen cars. Yeah, he was in there for that. Hey, sir. <clears throat> How's it going? What's your name? Unesimo. Uh, do they call you Uno? Um, yeah. So, uh, whose car is that? I don't know. Actually, um, just, I bought it from two, two, three, day, three days ago. Three days ago? Yeah. How, how many keys do you own uh, for this car and, and in addition to, uh, like, I don't know, house keys or whatever? How many keys did I find in the car? I don't know. I had, uh, I, I had like, a... Uh, and the key that I told her that he gave me, I don't know how many were there, but they were like, I don't know, like, I think five, I think. Maybe five? Maybe. Yeah. Okay, there's probably about maybe two dozen keys in there, maybe. Here's the problem with what you're telling me, okay? The car that you're driving, the owner reported it stolen. So oh, you were you were driving and you were in possession of a stolen vehicle. Is that a, is that a surprise? I mean, just be honest with me. Did you know it was stolen? Did you um, think it could be stolen? Well, I wasn't too sure. Cause you I, wasn't like, too I sure? I just bought it on the street. You just bought it on the street three days ago? Here's the other problem. The owner just reported the car stolen and said it was stolen within the hour. And you're telling me that you bought this car three days ago. The car was stolen an hour ago, buddy. She has the jiggle keys. So I just need the truth. All right, um, in that case, yeah, the, 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 the keys that were in there. And um, uh, I talked to one of my buddies, and they said uh, they want to buy the keys. Do you think that it's someone would be upset if you stole their car? Um, actually, yeah. Yeah, and um, yeah, and uh, you know, uh, this is the first damn car that I ever took, and you know, like that. I didn't know I was. So this is the first car you stole? Yeah. I appreciate your honesty, buddy. All right. Okay. Put your feet back, and I'll come talk to you in a minute. Hey, how you doing? Hi. 
So after talking to you and talking to uh, Uno, I'm gonna charge you guys both with possession of a stolen vehicle. Right now we had another officer get on the radio and say he's got a car trying to ditch him at the blocks. He said he's behind a green blazer and it's driving recklessly over curbs and they're in the Safeway parking lot right now. Driver! Turn the car off and keep the keys in your hand. Face away from me. Go down on your knees. Go down on your knees. Turn around and face towards me. Put your hands down on the ground and crawl towards me. Keep Crawl towards me or you're gonna get a bean bag. Stop, go all the way down on your belly, put your arms straight out like an airplane, put your palms up. Don't move. Ran over the sidewalk, right over here, trying to get into this parking lot. Took off, and he realized he he overshot that and was in a dead end. He started to, uh, started to open the door to bail, and I challenged him. So, I guess we'll see what we have. It looks like the uh, ignition panel is totally removed. The top's removed. They're running him and trying to confirm his ID, but uh, it looks like it's probably going to be a stolen. Yeah. Go ahead and look at the ignition. It's it's about as stripped as they get. Well then. And I see the screwdrivers in the center council. Those are yeah. probably what he was using for his key. All the tools you need Got right the there. pliers and everything. Hi, sir. What's your first name? Robert. OK, first off, uh, I saw you pull in the parking lot over there. OK, walk me through what was going on. I'm pulling in to drop off my friend's car. Pulling in to drop off your friend's car? Yeah. And uh, what made you turn back around so quickly? Because I don't have a license. Because you don't have a license? Uh, and I'm on probation. What are you on probation for? I'm on probation. I just got out of prison. What did you get out of prison for? For uh, witness tampering, felony elude, and like a rob too. OK, you're flagged elude. You're on probation for felony elude. And that's exactly what uh, what it looked like you were doing to me, trying to get away from me. I wasn't trying to get away in that car. But I was trying to get it safely parked so I, the dude's going to lose his car over me borrowing it to go drop somebody off the trip. OK. I tell you what, where's the key at to the car so we can uh, try to get it back to me? There is, it's a, it's got a busted ignition. There's no key? No, it's got a, it's just a normal key. Uh, what were you driving it with? What do you mean? If it doesn't have a key, what were you driving it with? A screwdriver. You're driving with a screwdriver? You want his number? His number's in my phone. OK, right we'll, we'll get to that, but I, you see how it looks to me? Yeah, You're yeah, trying yeah, to get I away from me? You're I driving a car with a screwdriver? Me. Straight up, are we going to find anything that you're not supposed to have? I drugs, guns, no, bombs. No, there ain't no drugs or bombs or nothing weird like that. OK. Well, I'll go take a look, and we'll talk here in a sec, all right? Yeah. Thank you. He pretty much admitted to you that he was trying to elude. Trying to get away from me. He just wants to sugarcoat it and say I was trying to avoid the traffic stop. Uh, Took a right baggie way. of meth right here that he tossed out the window as we were trying to stop window, him. Yeah. You know, there's always something. Don't look too far from, uh, good, from the yeah. car. Looks like we got crystal meth. Um, there's baggies in there, too. OK. So. I ain't got nothing to do with that. It's just a high drug traffic area, man. I'll be down for getting me So you think this baggy meth was just laying there and we happened just to stumble across it? I don't know what the hell you think, yeah. I think. I'll just know yeah. I ain't I ain't the one, man. This never came out of your vehicle. No, that never came out of my vehicle. So never. when I go back to my uh to my dash cam, am I gonna see you throwing it out the window? Ahead, Let's just be fun. honest, be honest with me. Have fun. Have fun? Yeah. All right. That ain't my We'll figure it out, we'll let you know. Thanks. He was driving with a suspended license. He'll receive citations for that, and he'll be charged with possession of methamphetamine. Right now, we're in pursuit of an assault with a deadly weapon suspect. We monitored the Sacramento Police Department who put out a call of a guy that assaulted somebody with a pole. We found the suspect vehicle on the freeway, and now we're in pursuit of it. Oh, they did. I, I smell it. rubber. I smell rubber. Yeah, I think it did work. Or, yeah, he may have hit a tax strip. So we, uh, the suspect that we've been chasing may have hit one of the spike strips that one of the uh, agencies put out. 
That's all right. Is this a cone? Yeah, he did. His front right tire and back rear tire is out. 6'6", six, six, David. His tires are coming apart. This should be terminating here really soon. We're coming up to, I think, Pedrick Road. 6'6", six, six, David, related CHP that his tires have already come apart. We're starting to pick up some CHP units. They haven't caught up yet, but they're uh, close. He's going on three good tires and one bad one. We're westbound 80, speeds are down to 80, and we're passing Pedrick. So we're just waiting for his tires to come apart and him to just slow down to the point where we can uh, use the uh, pursuit immobilization technique where we spin him out to get him to stop this pursuit. 6 6 David, we've handed the pursuit off to CHP. So right now we've uh, handed the pursuit off to CHP. 6 6 David, we're slowing down to 60. Looks like this is going to be terminating here really soon. We're at Pitt School Road. 6 6 David, we're down to 50. Still westbound on 80. CHP is going to do it. Do the pursuit move. Okay. Get out of the car with your hands up! Here, I'll take it. Step out of the car! Face forward! Face forward! Lift your jacket up! I got it. I got it. Okay, interlace your feet. Take it off. Take it off. Just take it off and set it on the ground. Turn around. Interlace your fingers behind your head. Walk backwards right now. Walk backwards. Keep okay. walking. Keep walking. Bring him over here, Mike. Keep walking. Stop. Okay. It's all good. Scared. That's it. Why'd you run for like 50 miles? Sir, I didn't, I didn't run for 50 miles. I just got scared. What were you doing when the cops were behind you? What were you thinking? I was scared. Of what? What are you scared of? Are you on parole? I don't, wanna, I don't wanna go to jail. Are you on parole or probation? I'm on parole, sir. Okay. Have you ever been involved in a police pursuit before? No, sir. Is it the first time? It's crazy, huh? Scary. That's some scary stuff. I'm just glad that no one got hurt. I'm just glad you didn't mash into anybody. I didn't hurt myself or I didn't hurt no one. Yeah. I'm glad that too. That was good. And at least your car didn't get jacked up at all either. Yeah, my girl, she actually really needs that, man. She's What's that? Lady's car? Yeah. Well, like we, well, we actually bought it. Well, there's nothing wrong with it. It has like a little paint when they did the spin maneuver on you. Okay. So it's not it's not all jacked up. They do us a favor. Sure. Never run from the cops yeah, again. Yeah, next time, just don't run from the cop. This stuff's okay. scary. Okay. All right. All right, man. Good luck. Yeah. Watch your feet. Over there at one of the motels off of Matsy, him and his girl got into a disagreement okay. because he was wanting her to go out and prostitute and she wasn't willing to do it. So he actually took an ashtray and smashed her face in and she's got some bleeding and cuts. Oh, he caused some face. injuries to her? Yeah. Now I heard also he's wanted for a robbery? Yeah, part of that is uh, he took her cell phone. Okay. So yeah, so the, the 245, you saw with the deadly weapon and then the taking of the cell phone. Okay. They had the spike strips out on the freeway. It looks like he only got one of them. Uh, one of his tires, the uh, right front. Uh, had he not got this tire, that we'd be still driving for sure. You know, on the way to the Bay Area. Yeah, you and know, he did still a great in pursuit job. of this guy. He didn't get hurt, and he didn't get us either. So that's great. Yeah, so he's going to jail for violating his parole, and uh, the pursuit, and then whatever the Sacramento Police Department books him on for the suspected robbery and assault with a deadly weapon. Robert, 31 foot pursuit. We see your hands. Get down on the ground. Get down on your stomach. There's a couple subjects that are coming out of an apartment complex up here. Uh, one of them actually matched the description of a guy that we're looking for. I'll go out and talk with him. Oh. He's running. Come here. Robert, 31 foot pursuit. Uh, Mohawk in. Sitting bull. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Get down on the ground. Get down on your stomach. Put your hands behind your back. Okay, Robert 31, I got him prone up. Yeah. 
What'd you throw? You had something in your hand that you threw earlier. What's your name? You on parole? You, you a pal? Huh? You might be. You have anything on you gonna poke me or stick me? Oh no. What? Stand up. Forty, can you clear 10-8? I'll try to make contact with him. Come on back and switch. Negative, sorry, I didn't uh, didn't dispo my last call out. I'm actually gonna be uh, Nisqually and Mohawk in some apartments. Couple decent bags of dope here. Um, he's got a scale, what well, looks like a bunch of uh, lock picks, probably for out uh, vehicle doing vehicle burglaries. He's also advised me that he's on parole. All right, what's your name again, bro? Huh? James. James? Yeah. James, what's the deal? 34 copy on Huh? Oh, that's what? Uh. Why'd you run? Uh, I'm on parole. I, I just want to go home. What's up with the dope in your pocket? I had a bad habit. How do you use? Smoke, whatever. You smoke? Mostly. Lines. What's that? Mostly smoke, do lines, whatever. What's up with the scale? You may have ran towards Make the sure I don't get burnt. When did you buy it? Hey, I don't know if you have any um, yep. Last night. Last night? Yeah. How much did you buy? Uh, a quarter? A quarter? What's up? Uh, quarter ounce? Yeah. That's quite a bit down off of a quarter ounce. Yeah, it's down to like uh, uh, a teener. <laughs> you nickel and diamond to get a little, get a little cash to support the habit or what? No, smoke and smoke it and... Where's your pipe? I don't have a pipe. I use everybody else's. What about the picks or files or... <clears throat> I just got those there present. You just got them? From where? A uh, friend gave them to me. You got crime it or what? No, sir. No? What's the point of having them then? Just files. I don't know how I'm I mean, you're on parole for vehicle theft, right? Yes, sir. And you're carrying that stuff around with you. What, what, I mean, how do you think that looks? Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> well, it's not for that. What are they for then? Anything else, like uh, popping those batteries out of the, out of my scale, filing my nails, anything. Filing your nails or anything? Anything. We're good for a lot of stuff. <clears throat> all right. Well, I guess just hang tight. We'll be with, back with you in just a little bit, all right? All right, well, sir. Okay. When I was talking with him, he advised me he had uh, purchased a quarter ounce yesterday, and uh, so far he's down to about what they call a teener, which is down quite a ways. Um, he's also got some of the, the files and picks. These are commonly used, you know, to get in, as ways to get into vehicles. They'll they'll use them to punch the door locks or uh, to get the uh, the ignitions punched. He's actually on parole for uh, for vehicle theft right now, and uh, that's that pretty much seems what his M.O. will be tonight. He's going to be charged with the possession of controlled substance for sale and the possession of burglary tools. Put your hands up. Do not make any move towards that gun. He was acting, he was acting strange. strange. I, I said something about don't, why are you being crazy with a shotgun? Don't don't call me crazy. Right now, I've got a partner asking for code cover, emergency response, right up around the corner. We've got an armed, suspicious vehicle. Unknown circumstances are what's happening right now. 31397. AR-15 behind you. You in the gray sweatshirt, do not make any move towards that gun. Keep your hands up. Turn and face away from my voice. Grab the collar of your shirt with your right hand. Lift it up, turn all the way around in a circle. Keep going, let go. Now, you're gonna walk backwards to the sound of my voice. Go, start walking backwards, now. You in the blue shirt, on your hands and knees, move out to the street. Stop right there. Go up on your feet with your arms raised up in the air. We got one shotgun up against the tree here. Four subjects, not sure what we have. Everybody's in custody and we're just gonna sort out what the gun was about. Came out as an armed suspicious, people arguing. 
uh, showed up, saw the guy in the long sleeve sweatshirt, cradle and the shotgun across his chest. He was and near the tree or where was he? He was standing right up by the tree right there. Okay. And I had all of them just kind of milling around right here. Just instantly prone everyone out? Yeah. As okay. soon as I came, I just drew down and I ordered everybody to drop. Rick, what happened tonight? He came out with the shotgun and he mistook that truck for the other neighbor's truck. Is that what you were saying earlier? Well, I was trying to figure out because when I was talking to him, why, why you got a shotgun up here? You know, okay. He, he, he said, Eric's truck. It's just not Eric's truck. All right, and but when you started talking about the shotgun, you were afraid of him with the shotgun too. Oh, he was acting. He was acting scary. strange. I, I said something about, don't, "Why are you being crazy with the shotgun? Don't don't call me crazy." Okay. You know, he was like in the kind of a threatening manner. Uh, that's my. I, I went. I went white for a second. We'll be back with you in just a minute. Thanks. All right, man. So when I showed up, you had that shotgun in your hands. Yes, sir. You think maybe that might not have been a good idea? Yes, sir. You don't think that was a good idea? Yes, sir. That's a good idea there. Listen up, why were you out here with a shotgun? Self-defense. Self-defense of what? Uh, there was a, it was an African-American male. What my, happened? My girlfriend and I came home from dinner down in the park down there. Okay. We walked up here, and my neighbor usually parks it, my neighbor parks his truck in that area right there, which is on my property right there to mailboxes. Okay. And I came home and I saw a colored fella. Okay. Okay. And he was digging in the back of the truck. And I said, hey, what's going on? I don't know you. What's happening? Oh, not much, man. Not, you know, and he, I saw him reaching down on the toolbox, so I figured it's time for me to go. You know what I mean? It's dark. There's... Okay. So you went back into your house? So I went back into my house. I went down and I got my... And I actually called you guys. Okay, because we didn't receive any phone call from 911 that says you called. Yeah. So... In a nutshell, you saw someone up there working on a truck. You thought it might have been your neighbors, and you decided to come up and confront them with a loaded working. shotgun? He wasn't working on the truck. Okay. He was going through a toolbox in the back of the truck. Okay, but you thought it was your neighbor's truck, right? Okay. All right, well, I'm just letting you know it wasn't your neighbor's truck. Okay, okay? that was actually his truck that he was working on. Okay? I right now... Okay. Not, I mean, we understand you're trying to protect your neighborhood, but there's a problem with the law when you come out and you take the law in your own hands and you've got a loaded shotgun out in the middle of the street, especially when law enforcement responds, okay? I understand, sir. But it wasn't out in the street. I was still on my property. Okay. All right. You're under arrest for carrying a loaded shotgun in public, all right? Just slide back a little bit. All right. So you're working on the truck today? And yeah. what happened? Did he have the shotgun in his hands when he came out? You saw him carrying the shotgun? Oh, yeah, he had the shotgun the whole time. The whole time? That's what, that's what we want to know. We want to make sure you saw the shotgun, he walked up to you, and he was holding it when he was talking to you. He's talking to everybody. Okay. It's against the law to be out in public with a shotgun, especially a loaded shotgun. Mm -hmm. Getting a little crazy oh, like that, threatening people. Oh, oh yeah. Loaded. Okay. So here's what's up. He's going to be arrested for that today. As soon as we get this all sorted out, you'll be free to go. All right? All right. Thank you. Looks like a couple there hanging out. Hi. What are you guys doing? Get away from everybody. Cool. You guys have your IDs? So there's no pretty streets to park on in yeah, Rialto? Pretty streets. There's pretty but just streets. you don't have the view. You know, it's just, yeah, sun go down, you know. Oh, better. okay. I hear you. Well, hang on. I'll be right back. Um, they're running them now, but uh, I think the male has two warrants. One's a no bail, one's 5,500. Uh, he's got priors for 69 uh, weapons charges. So he's got a pocket knife in, on on him now. He took it off, set it next to the shifter. So um, I'm going to have them come out of the car and do that. So dispatch is verifying the warrant. We'll go from there. Shepard's going to be on your mail subject. Hey, Michael, come out here real quick. What am I in? What's happening? You got a no bail warrant and a, and a uh, $5,500 warrant. So you're going to go over to West Valley Jail and take care of your warrants. You want to take him to Can the I let him know where to bring my car? Yeah. Uh, go sit back there, and then we'll have him come talk to you. Have her come talk to you. OK, come out. So you guys are up here just talking? No. OK, go have, go sit on the front of my police car, please. It's odd that people are just sitting up here. That doesn't, he's got a prior drug offense, hmm. a scale. She's got a scale in her purse. And some crystal meth. It's a lot of time. Uh, if you wouldn't mind. Hey, real quick, I'm going to put her in your car. Yeah, yeah, go hook her up. some more crystal meth. It looks like we hit a jackpot here on this one. So there's a baggie of crystal meth inside of your purse. So did you put it in your purse? 
Mm -hmm. Okay, so who put it in your purse? Was it him? Was it somebody else? Was there a friend here that put stuff in your purse or what? No, we're going into the car, sir. Okay. Is your boyfriend or friend? I don't know. He's just a friend. If he was my boyfriend, he would have cared. Good friend. What the? Good friend. Mm -hmm. So you're basically now, by that statement, you're telling me he put it in your purse. I don't want, I mean, you know, I don't. Okay. I'm not, I'm not going to force you to say something you don't want to say. You're a grown woman. You make a decision on your own. If you decide you want to let this guy lock you up. No, I don't want to go to jail. It's well, not happening. You're going to prison, not son. jail. Well, by the time you get out, your son will be able to drive. Think of that. So, your decision. It's not mine, sir. Okay. Hey, Michael, I found dope in the center console. You might want to check. If, it, if it's what I think it might be that's been in there for a while, mm -hmm. check it. It's not even, it's not even dope. It's not dope? No. What is that's, it? It's, uh, it's something for your joint. It's a uh, joint something or other for your actual joints. Mm -hmm. It's, yeah. For joints. Jo not for joints. Not for smoking joints. No, no, I know. Your joints, joints in your type, body. Yeah. All right, I yeah. got it. I'm not that slow. And you, a teaspoon of it a day is fine. And it, <laughs> no, I'm uh, dead serious. Okay. I even had the stuff that it came in. Okay. Uh, yeah, it does say that. Okay. Well, I have a test kit. I'll test no it. No and we'll see. No Come on here. That's not, honestly, that's my opinion. Okay. You told me small Ziploc baggie. No, I said a sandwich bag. Yeah, a zip, well, a Ziploc. Ziploc bag, right? That's not a Ziploc baggie. Technically, that's a shrink wrap. So, sure. you don't know anything about any crystal in your car? That the bag that you're saying tested as it, but it's not, that's what's bothering me. That's the, would be the only one. That would be the only one. Okay. As far as the other hell no. Okay. Hell no. All hell right. Hell no, I'm trying to shit my See, straight, dude. She's telling me that the stuff in her purse is not hers. I'm not asking you to take blame for something that's not yours. Please, Mike. Please, Mike. I mean, what am I supposed to like take the blame? Come on. That, I'm sorry, man. And I love my kids. Sorry, like you do, so I'm telling the truth. I don't care. He had a no bail warrant anyway, but now I have the transportation and uh, possession for sales. So this would be a good case. And she had that in her purse. Both get to go to jail for the same thing. That's all I have You're high right now. This guy has woman's underwear, and it seems like I've come across a little more than I anticipated. Well, I just saw a car drive up into the canyon, into the hills here. And uh, this is off-road. It's an off-road trail, and no one's supposed to be up here, so I'm going to try and catch up to it and uh, find out what it's doing. These roads are are off off road off limits to most of the patrol people, but to the criminal element, they think they can use these roads to get away from us by coming up here and joyriding their stolen cars or doing their dope or just hiding out from us. Lieutenant, it's going to be a blue Chevy truck. And confirmed towards 28th and yeah, for a moment on the front of the road that stopped in front of me. Let me see your hands. Stay there, all right? Put your hands up. Open the door. Let me see your hands. Come on out. I thought you were four by. Come on out. I'm serious. Come on out. Wait, let me put on my feet. No, leave your boots off. Dude, don't do this, all right? All right, all right. You on probation? No, I'm not. Parole? No, I'm not. Why would you turn around? Because I couldn't get back out that way. Yeah, you could. You I saw my car. Come on out. No, I didn't. I saw you. Got anything on you? No, I don't. This is your car? Yeah, this is my car. You nervous? Yeah. You on probation? No. Parole? No. Ever been arrested before? Yeah. For what? Manslaughter. Ten, I copy. I'm code four. I have the car stopped on the uh, Edison frontage road. What is that noise? It's my dinosaur, my daughter's dinosaur. I had a pipe. Yeah, you did. Where's your dope at? That's all I have. You're high right now. I can smell your breath. Sit down. Have a seat right here. Sit down. Right there, sit down, sit down, sit down. Anything illegal in your car? Yeah. Underwear, and it seems like I've come across a little more than I anticipated. What's the matter, man? What are you scared of? 
Why? Because I don't want to be there. What's, what's in your car that would make you go back to jail? That bike. And what else? That's it. Why do you have the underwear? I just, it's from all the girlfriends that I've had. And, really? And then I'm, I'm gay. Okay, well, just don't, don't, don't cry over that. Be proud of that. Here we go. It's just a little bag of speed, but that's what he was doing up here. This goes with that, and that's why he's upset, and that's why he doesn't want to go back to jail. Marco, yeah. you got anything to say? <laughs> Are you pulling my leg with what you told me earlier? Or is that the truth? That's the truth. Okay, all right. Um, all right. Well, you're under arrest. And you go to jail in Riverside, okay? How long ago did you use? Like maybe two hours ago. Just two hours ago? Didn't think you'd get caught when you used it, did you? Most people I don't. I would get caught. You did? I knew I was going to get caught. Why don't you stay home? I've been fighting with my wife. Oh, uh, does she know you use speed? Yeah. Is that why you're fighting with her? Yeah. Oh. What's the step? To get some counseling and try and get into a, a drug rehab program. Clear yourself of this problem, right? We know that you took that cake out of there without mm -hmm. paying for it, mm -hmm. so that's basically why we're here. It's under arrest for conspiracy right to commit burglary. I didn't even know what we were doing. I thought we were supposed to just go shopping. We're going to go ahead and attempt to contact these possible uh, commercial burglary suspects. Although the theft was only a cake, the way they entered the store and separated and started stalking the aisleways was uh, clearly indicative of our typical burglary suspects out here. Got a note on the door. <sighs> Please knock on a window. Go ahead. Doggy. Sheriff's department. Hi, are you Cheryl? Yeah. You mind if I come in and talk to you real quick? Sure. OK, great. Are you the only one home right now? No. OK. Um, what I need to speak to you about, do you own a Ford Ranger? Yeah. Okay, is it here right now? No. No? Okay, where is it at? Um, my daughter went shopping with it. Your daughter went shopping? What's your daughter's name? Shauna. Shauna? Do you know what she bought? Some TV uh, turnovers. But, um, so she brought some pastries, huh? Yeah. Okay. Was there a special occasion for that or anything? Or just, no. No. Okay. Yeah, the cake's inside, so I'm going to advise uh, 50 Paul 4 that the uh, suspect vehicle just showed up at the apartment complex. Huh? Turn the car off. Anybody Me in the back? My son and my mom. I'm here okay, to see Okay, can my I mom. see your ID, please? We'll explain it to you in a minute. <laughs> Were you shopping today or anything? Yeah. yeah Shauna. Yeah. Yeah. Shauna, turn around. I just went for my mom. You know, what else? Um, there, there's stuff in the back of the truck. Yeah. You have receipts for that stuff? Yeah. yeah. Shauna, turn around, listen to the deputy. Shauna. Okay. Um, Basically, here, here's what's listen going on. Listen to the on. deputy, Shauna. Keep your hands yeah. out of your purse. Well, I was trying to find okay. a okay, just let me have yeah. the purse. Here's what's going on, Mom, and I don't need you to say anything, but basically, we saw you guys there. We've got you guys on tape, so we know that you guys took that cake out of there without mm -hmm. paying for it, mm -hmm. so that's basically why we're here. All right, Sean. All right, step on over to my car. Yeah, I'm going to go inside and uh, recover the cake. Well, this is what I'm taking with me, then. All right. I'll be back with you in a little bit, okay, man? We'll talk again. I'm thinking on him, even if I get enough PC, I'll do a JCR. I'll just release him to Grandma. OK, that sounds so, good. Um, so if you could just stand by. I've got I her will. out here. She's unsecured okay, right now. OK, do we have a witness in route right um, now? Witnesses or? in route right okay, now. OK, great. Deputy Blanco is bringing him over. OK, great. Thank, thank you. you. Shauna, can you just go ahead and stand next to your son over here, please? Yeah. Step, out so really Step out a little bit more to your left and face the deputy's patrol car. So right now, we have We're uh, being photographed. No, the witnesses are looking to see if you are the person that was in the store. Any word? And they're sticking their thumb up. They're sticking their thumb up. OK, come back over here. Stand here. Nancy. Come over here, son. Go ahead and let me know. Why, why is he yes, in trouble? Because I was involved with he, But he's not going to go anywhere right now with oh. us, OK? OK. Only you are. Let me go ahead and, and, and he's going to go I'll with his awesome. grandma. I'll OK, so you'll be placed under arrest, arrest for conspiracy right to commit burglary yeah. in the store, OK, because you were with your mom when she yeah. committed the theft Marshall and you helped her commit the theft. I'm going to take you over to your grandmother right now, and we're going to talk about uh, arranging your release to her custody. Okay. And then you'll go to court later and answer for the charges to a judge. 
right. Okay, you understand that, Mom? Yeah. Okay. Let's come back here. Cups okay? This has got to be a lesson, man. Your mom's got to wise up. I didn't even know what we were doing. I thought we were supposed to just go shopping. That's well, what we were told. You're going to be given a court date, and you're going to answer to a judge and explain to him why you did what you did. Okay. Okay, I appreciate you being honest and forthright with the deputy when he asked you questions, and that's what you need to be. Okay, do you understand? Yes, I understand. Okay, good. All right. All right, Shauna. So what happened this afternoon? I walked in, and I just stole the cake, and I walked out. That was it. For what reason? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I had money in my pocket. I had $100 of my own. It was a ten dollar cake. I don't know. Whose idea I'm was it? Stupid. It was mine. Is your idea? Yeah. Have a seat back in the car. Okay. Um, can you make sure he gets all the groceries out? There's milk and yeah. stuff yeah, in the back there. Yeah, I'll let him know. You didn't steal that stuff, did you? No. Okay. No, she showed me the receipt. Okay. I had to make sure. I had to make sure. Right there. Okay. Okay. okay this one. That's my stuff. No, okay. My mom's receipts in the trunk. The only thing we're taking is the cake. He said he was going to kill you? Yeah. He has a shotgun and held it up to her. Dad, walk toward the light. Put your hands up again. Someone is calling dispatchers on the payphone saying that someone's trying to kill them. It looks like they're probably having trouble finding them. Where she lives? The blue house on you. Did he go back to the house? He go back to the house. I just run to the payphone. Oh, okay, okay, relax. We got enough people here. Okay, calm down. I try to shoot me with the gun. I run outside. He what? I try to shoot me with his gun. Shotgun. Threatened to shoot her with the shotgun. Yeah. Okay. Does he have? Does he have a shotgun at the house? Yeah, in some home. Okay. And he, does he threaten to kill you? Yes. Yeah. Hey, can you tell me real fast? I know you're talking to this officer. Can you tell me really fast what he did to you tonight? Uh, tonight, he just held the knife to me. So what I kind of what you. kind of knife was it that he held to your throat? It's an American knife. It's long and brown. Like in like for a kitchen? Yeah, kitchen knife. A kitchen knife. He yeah. he said he was gonna kill you. Yeah. He okay. Said, I'm gonna go home and kill the kids. It's okay. No, you're okay. He's gonna go home and do what? My kids. Okay, your kids at the house. Yeah. He has a uh, shotgun and held it up to her. So we're thinking this guy's possibly armed. We're going to take every precaution that we have available to us here. We're going to set up on the house. We've got an airship above, so we'll see what we get from here in a minute. Should be just around the corner. We're just getting more details now from the victim about an incident that happened yesterday with a loaded shotgun to the head, threatened to kill her. That has been confirmed, and we still have more units. We still have more units coming on scene. Bad, walk forward the light. Put your hands up again. Bad, walk forward the light. Stop. Got crossfire now. To your left. OK, walk straight. Walk towards your neighbor's house. Front yard. Now walk backwards. You know where we are. Keep walking back. Keep going, keep going. You're good. Keep going. I'll keep going, keep going. Stop right there. Stop. Drop on your knees. Put on your knees. Okay, watch the porch. Who's coming? I got the porch. Okay. Listen to me. Put your hands behind your back, palms together. Behind your back. Can you see, are those your kids coming out? We're going to do a quick inventory search of this house. Uh, the officers have located a weapon. We're going to make sure we secure that so it's safe and none of the kids are getting injured uh, after we leave, and then we'll be done here. Yeah, firm. we're uh, coming in the front door now. Yep. Was it loaded? No, uh, it was empty. It was empty? Yeah, we got ammunition back there, 12 Oh, you gauge. do yeah. You do have the ammunition here? Yeah, 12 gauge. It was right where he said it was, huh? Yep, right behind the bed there. Okay. You want to tell me uh, your side of the story about what happened out here? I was just waiting for her. She said, you got meeting me. I just went over there to get her. You, you, went, you went to get her from her meeting? Yeah, it's already done then. I just got mad a little bit that she lied to me and said, it takes three hours meeting. When you were mad, did you do anything that maybe you, you, know, you shouldn't have done? I didn't see nothing else besides like, hit her. D did you ever hit her? Before, I never hit her. You never have before? How about tonight? I just hit, I slapped, slapped her one time. You slapped her one time tonight? Car. That was it. Uh, you guys were in the car when you slapped her? Yeah. Mm. And you hit her in the face? You slapped her in the I face? Just beat her up like some guy beat each other up, you know, not like that. Sure, sure. Just, 
to make her understand what, what I'm feeling. Okay, I appreciate your uh, cooperation for the interview, okay? We'll talk to you in a little bit. This is the knife that we recovered that uh, he held to her throat, uh, threatened to kill her and the children. Um, and uh, also had a gun in the house. She was concerned that he was gonna come back and uh, kill the family. Hello, ma'am. <coughs> okay, you, you all right? All right. Yeah. What was your first name again, ma'am? Yer. Yer? Okay, Yer. All right, I just wanna come back in and make sure everything was okay with you. You kinda understand what's going on. He's gonna be going down for domestic violence. Uh, and I want you to know you did the right thing by calling us, especially for the sake of these little guys around here. You can't have that uh, stuff happen. And so uh, our primary objective, obviously, is to make sure everybody's OK. And uh, any anytime something like this goes on, make sure you give us a call. Do the right thing coming down there. Can I get a for 503? We're just going to check this alley, see if anybody's out hanging around and doing anything. They're not supposed to. It's just an alley where we have a lot of graffiti and gang members hanging out. How you doing? Pretty good. Can I have your, see your driver's license, registration, and proof of insurance? I don't have my driver's license on me. You don't have it on you? OK. Do you have any ID or anything? No. Nah, Just keep your hands up. It's OK. Oh. Is this your car? No, it's my friend's car. OK. So your friend let you borrow the car? See. Do you have a driver's license, or you, and you just don't have it with you? Uh, I don't have a driver's license. You don't have one? OK. Go ahead and step out, and just turn away from me when you get out. Just leave it where it is. It's fine. It won't go anywhere. Go ahead and turn around for me. Put your hand behind your back. Got a pager, too? Yeah. So you got a pager and a phone, huh? Yeah. What do you do for a living? Nothing. You just like to communicate or what? Nah. My girlfriend's always calling me. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What's this, man? Foil. Foil? When was the last time you used heroin, dude? This morning? Where do you usually get it at? Friends. Friends? Mm -hmm. You got some generous friends. Do they hook you up or do, do they sell it to you? Nah, they hook me up. They hook you up? So who are you visiting then? I don't know. What's your friend's name? Ralph. Where does Ralph live? Somewhere around at the end. What's in the car, dude? I don't know. You want to put him away? Yeah, we'll just throw him in the car real quick. Looks like we got a little dope. I'm just going to check into it a little bit, but it's packaged up like dope, obviously. Looks like it's probably heroin. It kind of smells like it. So there's about 17 bindles in here. He's selling it. Listen, those pages that are going off on my roof, making all that noise, we're going to use my cell phone. We're going to call them back. You think any of those people are going to say, hey, drop it off here? Guess not. All right, well, we'll check. We got the phone. We'll call. We can we use his phone. Well, that's OK. Call him up, tell him you're his girlfriend, and you want to know uh, where he like. You hey, know I don't have a girlfriend. You ain't going to trick him. Well, you just got one. Who's they, anyways? What do they call you, dude? What do they call me? Yeah, what's up? This is Mario's girlfriend. He's calling Mario right now. You called, you paged him. Is he helping you sell or who's he selling for? Huh? So what What do you do for him then? You're paging him like it's an emergency, man. It's cool, man. He told me I could call you. How do you think I got his pager? He said that you would tell me it was everything that's happening. But he, you know. I just want to make sure everything's the same. He already told me. That way I'll tell him and I'll be straight after that. Is he making the drop or what? All right, so he is? What, is he dropping it for you or are you giving it to him? You don't give out anything, you just pick up? Sweet, so then, so then he's gonna start making some money now or what? Because he's been broke. Are you going to hook him up with some? All right. Hey, I just talked to your buddy, Robert. What do you think he told me? What did he tell you? He's waiting for you. So you're going to start telling me what's going on or what? Huh? I'll keep calling people. You got people calling in. That's probably him right now. So what's the deal, man? You going to cough it up or what? Cough what up? Tell what me, me tell me what up? you're doing here. Tell what, me what, what you're doing here. Say, Tell me what you're doing what, what with the dope. Kind of you want to put in my okay, mouth? I want to know if you if you're selling it. Are you selling it for the money? Are you selling it so you for can break you off use, for, for my your own, own use? Okay. Nobody get let you have that for free. Okay, you obviously have to throw some money back to the, their way. I 
stole it. You didn't steal that stuff, man. Why are you messing with me? Stop being so hardcore, man. I'm not impressed I'm not by that. I'm being hardcore, you know what I mean? I'm not. You are. No, I'm not. You think you are? I'm not. No, I don't. Well, just be straight up with me, man. I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm hardcore. I, I'd rather treat you like a man than I like am, a little thug. I'm trying to be a, what do you mean a thug? I ain't no thug. Come well, you're on. thinking you're all hardcore right now. I guess so. You know better. This isn't the yeah, first time you're in the backseat of a car. Know we know he's dropping off drugs and selling to people. She's saying that you hit her. I hit her? Yeah. No. That spit in my face. Which one's the dad? You spit on her. She's in my house. She's so, lying, officer. OK, I wasn't there. Right now we're going to a unknown problem at a residence. Female's on the phone screaming she needed the police and uh, hung up. So we're here right now and we're gonna find out what's going on. What's going on? Keep your hands on the car. Don't reach for anything. I'm not. Put your hands on the car. <laughs> His dad spit on me. His dad spit in my face. Where, where's he in the back? He's right in the garage. Hang out right here. I'm gonna go talk to him real quick, okay? What's your first name? Nicole. Okay, listen, Nicole. Listen, you guys had an argument? Okay, what was it over? I don't know, he's just drunk. No, so he's just being drunk and kind of having a bad day? Yes. And he took it out on you? When he shouldn't? Are you guys boyfriend, girlfriend? No, not anymore. Okay, you guys used to be? Huh? His dad spit in my face. Did his dad spit on you? His dad spit on my face. All right, and then what happened? He wouldn't get out. Did he hit you or punch you? Did he touch you at all? He's saying that you hit him. Did you hit him? that I hit him. Yeah. Did you hit him? <laughs> Did he hit you? Yeah, he hit me. Where? Yeah. Where? Yeah. Let me see. Where? Can you take off your hood for a sec? Where'd he hit you? <laughs> Where'd he hit you? He just hit me in my face. Right there in the eye? Right here? I don't know. How'd he hit you? With a closed fist? I don't even know. Just kind of backhanded you? Have you ever been arrested? All right. No? OK. All right. So he hit you. Did you hit him at all? Yes, I did. You did? You guys both hit each other? OK. Do me a favor, Nicole. Just have a seat right here for a minute, OK? Thanks. Hey, where, where'd she hit you at? She hit me in my face a couple times, but well, it's nothing, what was, what was the argument over? We just had problems, man. Like, like she came over to spend the night, and like she had guys like calling her phone. Like, it was just So stupid, you got jealous? Dude. Yeah, pretty much. It and was you guys just stupid. Arguing. It was dumb, dude. Did you hit her at all? No, I didn't hit her at she's all. Say, she's saying that you hit her. Oh, I hit her? Yeah. No, okay. I didn't hit her at all. Ask her. I, I just I asked can her. Ask her right I now. just asked her. Go ahead and put your hands behind your back, OK? Mm. All right, you're under arrest, OK? You're being arrested for domestic violence. So they're both going to go for domestic violence. They're both intoxicated. Come here, sir. Are you the dad to this no, guy? No. Who's his dad? Which one's the dad? What are you here, Ricky? OK. Say hi. OK. He's are, dead. are we going to play this route? Come here, sir. Let me talk to you. Hey, come here, sir. Come here, sir. Let me talk to you. Come over here. Boys. No, come over here. What are sir, we for? sir, Boys. sir, look. You need to cooperate with me, okay? okay. Don't try to go inside. Come over here. Come over here. I'm not his dad. Come over here. Oh, wow. Come over here, Michael. Okay? Okay. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands, put your hands behind your back. Okay? Go ahead and drop the cigarette. Okay. This is crazy. You're under arrest. Wow. Check this out. So I'm going to tell you who the dad is, and I'm not under arrest? No. Come on. Man. Hey, you're under arrest. You go to jail with your nephew. What's the, what, what's the charge? Public intoxication. Have a seat, sir. Robert. Nobody wants to give me answers. That's great cooperation. I appreciate it. OK? Sheriff's Fork, come out with your hands up. Make yourself known. Turn around, Johnny. Turn around. Put your hands on top of your head. What happened? Eddie, what's going on, bro? I don't know. You got cuffed. Can you tell me what's going on? I will tell you in just a second. Because okay, okay. now all of a sudden you want to cooperate with me. No. Who else is inside your house? Nobody, me. Okay, you're under arrest. For what? Your son's girlfriend claimed hey, that you spit on her. Hey, bro. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Please tell me what happened. I will talk to you outside. Let's go outside. I'll talk to you outside. Okay? You need to talk to us. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. You guys are playing a game. Now there's people going to jail. Okay? It's yeah. against a lot of spit okay. on people. Right. And you're also going for resisting. Okay? Put the in my house. You want me to do well, you okay. need to come out and talk to me. Oh, okay. Are you on parole you probation know? right now? No, 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 okay. no, no, no. Well, you spit on her. She's in my house. No, well, I didn't. You spit I didn't. on her. Well, I, swear I, didn't. I wasn't here. She's so. lying, officer. Okay. I wasn't here. Come on, her? step. No, I wasn't there. Okay, come on. What'd she say? What'd she say? Okay. She said that you spit on her. Is that Tony? No. Oh, okay. Nice oh, cool, cool, okay. Cool. So I inside out, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it didn't even happen, man. Okay. Hey, dude. Hey, hey, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to stay and say take me to jail? No, no. I wasn't here. 
You're going for two misdemeanors as of right now. Okay. Resisting or delaying a police officer and the battery. Okay. Yeah, you did. It's my house. Doesn't matter. Right, okay, cool. I'm here for a lawful reason. I don't want to argue with you. And man. you already admitted that you knew we were here, but you didn't want to go to jail. Hell okay. no. All right.